You know, in China, peaches are a symbol for good luck. Hey. Do you need a ride somewhere? Or I have a car just down the street. I can walk. I can drive. Can I take you? Near West Side Street, I guess. So West Side Street, that's it's not too far from here. What do you got going on up there? So you're not scared of me? I mean, it's just most guys don't stop and pick up someone like me. Unless, of course, you know, they're looking to sell me something or, you know, they want to get stabbed. Yeah, right, that would probably make my day better. Oh, I get it. What? Hey, come on, man. What? No, you know what? It's your life. I mean, I mean, what would you have a rough day? You lost your job? Boo-hoo, go find another one. A little bit selfish of you, don't you think? I mean, come on, man. You don't have to be like that. Look, I'm in this car because you asked me to be. So if you don't find it in your heart to be kind to someone like myself anymore, then you just pull over right now and let me out. Fine. Get out then. Oh, come on, man. There's no reason to be Will so Will you sensitive. please get out of my car? You people, you know, why would you ask for my opinion if you oh, didn't want to shoot. hear it? Oh, come on. Get. Take the car, man. No, look. Come back here. It's your wheels. You're driving. Now, look. Why would you ask for my opinion if you didn't want to hear it, right? Why did you give me that can? Look, you have two options here. I can either take your car or you can get back in your car, keep your car, and take me where I need to go. Look, you said earlier that I can make your day better. I'm interested. Small job so far. You said I can make your day better. You do sell, don't you? Do you? Yes. Good, get back in. What do you need? I'll let you know when we get to where we're going. Ah, so you're just going to take all my stuff and then stab me for the ride I offer you. That's, that's great. That's quite the transaction. Isn't it? Well, that's probably the reason you got fired, so I figured I'd bring it up again just to make your day a little bit sunnier. How do you know anything about that? Well, apart from you crying on the side of the street with your box of death supplies, it wasn't that hard to figure out. I wasn't crying. Not to mention what you're wearing. You're one to talk. <laughs> Besides, it's not exactly what I meant when you, I, I said you can make my day better. Oh, no way. You actually wanted to get stabbed. You people make me sick. You people. Yeah, you people. The majority versus the minority. You people. You people who take life 
for granted you people. I mean, look at you. You have one desperate moment in your life and you can't even handle it. You're pathetic. It's become a lot more real. Black and white. Life and death. That's what it's like on the street. Life and death. That's reality. I'm more in tune than you could ever be. You get a job, you know. Well, now you really want to get stabbed, don't you? Yeah, because a few minutes ago, it have been all right. But now, well, now it's a different situation. Now it's a life and death situation. You've got that pride to deal with, don't you? Because you can't die like this anymore. Okay, enough. It's bad enough. It's bad enough that what? That you got fired from your job? That you got held up by the bum you offered a ride to a minute later? That you had one desperate moment in your life and you thought to yourself, well, maybe I will pick this guy up. Because even if he is dangerous, what's the harm anyway? Things are different now, aren't they? Yeah. You probably got fired because you couldn't take your boss's opinion. Screw you, man. Oh, no, no, I get it. You got fired because you're not very good at what you do, are you? <laughs> no, I get it. You, you, got, you probably got fired for the passing of illegal narcotics. Yeah? Am I right? Where'd you work again? Johnson and Plummer Building. What? I used to work there. Just kidding. <laughs> Say, why don't you roll the window down? It's getting a little stuffy in here. Oh, look. West Side Street. Take it right here. Quickly. What do you got? Stuff. I'll take some coke if you got it. Yeah, I got some. Guess I'm not getting paid for this. Thank you, sir. You have been a terrific chauffeur for the day. Now, what did you say your name was again? What, are you gonna steal my identity too? I mean, is this what you do to people? Hold up and harass them into giving you everything they have. Uh, actually, Damien, it is. Damien Sullivan, you are under arrest for the passing of illegal narcotics in the workplace. You're a cop. You can't be a cop, you pulled a knife on me. No, see that building there, Damien? Come on, look, 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 look. You see that building there? See, that is a building that your kind should be very familiar with. Now, I thought that saying the name would have made it too obvious, but no, 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 not for people like you. And Damien, man, you're breaking my heart. I mean, you shouldn't think of me today as a cop, but as, as your teacher and friend. You see, no, listen, Damien, when I first met you, you wanted me to kill you. And now, now you get to live. Let's be honest, Damien. Oh, you owe me this arrest. And by the way, you do have the right to remain silent. Ah! Ah! Damien, you... Ah! 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 Damien! You're not gonna get very far, you're right next to a police station! Ah. No, 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 Damien, no! I'm not gonna let you get away like that! You're gonna have to kill me! I'm not letting you get away! What did peaches mean again?